formulating and improving an original recipe, we answer the question how to pick the right turbo for your application. First, we need to understand what a turbo is and what it does. A turbocharger is a power adder that creates happiness and can create sorrow. A turbo works completely off exhaust fumes to create a vacuum-like extra suction at the air filter increasing air volume into the engine and the result is happiness if done correctly a turbo can choke the engine performance or greatly improve an engine our goal is to create joy and happiness with the minimum amount of money minimum amount of muscle in order to save money and not work as hard one thing must be understood doing things right the first time is more expensive in cost and requires a great amount of research the research is all about gaining knowledge through others experience doing what you plan to do. Overall, it's less expensive to do it right the first time. Reinventing the wheel is fun until you realize all the problems that a square wheel creates. So having knowledge, others' experience, and problematic situations can prove most valuable in any turbo project. Lag is the power that the engine makes off boost. Some people improperly refer to this as a loss of power, when in reality, it's the power the engine makes before the power adder kicks in. A turbo needs to gather a lot of exhaust gas pressure in order to spin up and feed the engine an extra supply of air. Because of this process, it is important to remember flow principles and characteristics. What comes in, most go out. Is a good rule of thumb to remember when sizing turbos. You can play with turbo sizes by buying different new turbos off eBay for cheap. But you will spend more money if you buy one of those new wonton war whistles from a top company on eBay than you would normally spend on a good known name quality unit that can last a lifetime of the vehicle or even the engine. For this reason, I use Third Coast Customs for my turbo rebuilding needs. So spend money wisely. Third Coast Turbos also carries turbos in stock. To all my red block friends out there, TX6061 is a real nice 400 wheel 16 valve red block turbo. A TE04E 54 trim is fun on an 8 valve red block with stock ECU. But the best bang for the buck, in my opinion, is the 16T turbo on a stock LH ECU. The 19T I hear is even better, but I think it's a little bit laggier. And it's definitely for the higher power people. The 16T has good spool up, meaning it makes added power quickly. And the power doesn't go away at the top of the rev range as much as the 13C does. That's the stock turbo size for most red blocks. The 19T pulls even harder in the higher RPM. Pulling out in traffic quickly can be more of an issue with stock LH fuel injection. The T3 Super 60 is real fun on the street at higher boost levels. For our 242 build, we wanted a quick spooling turbo for a light stick shift car. And a 2.1 bottom end with a B230 head. We chose to go with the MicroSquirt EFI and Ignition Computer with all these supporting parts and more. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget, keep your turbo world. Subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications of new videos exactly when they come out.